Well back, folks, to Swords and Sandals 2. Once again, we're at Gaiax. Right, so, uh, I have changed a few things. First up, I actually leveled up during the tournament, so... And I put it all into Vitality because I kind of need it. My Maul is now poisonous, so it does uh, possible 60 poison damage. Uh, plus, obviously, it's 20% chance of getting that. And due to the fact I found out about the inventory slots, I now have, as you can see, all these lovely goodies. So... We are in a much better position now to fight Gaiax. Hit him. Right. Colossus. That's actually quite good. Get Colossus out of the way now. And thanks for that one. I'm gonna walk away. I need to get away from him, to be honest. I need to get away from him. Get away from me! Get away! There you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. You dance, you dance, that's fine. I'm just gonna run away now. Yep, yeah, go on, go for it. Go for it, Gaiax, you know you want to. No. No, get away from me. Get away. Yeah, how the hell did you hit that? I don't know. Get away from me, Gaiax. Right, now shove him away. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's small again. Brilliant. Okay. We could definitely use that. Okay, so Colossus is out the way. Command is out the way. All he's got left is his health potion and his weapon. Which could both maul me, to be honest. Right, here we go. Let's hit him. Ow. Miss. Got him there. Took out some of his armor as well, which is great. Once his armor's gone, I'm going to start lobbing bombs. My fireballs. Until then, though, I can't do anything about it. Come on, Gaiax. No thanks. I'm going nowhere near that. Missed. I need to hit this. I need to hit this. Yes! Good hit. But he got an even better hit off me. Oh, God. Shove him. Shove him. Shove him away. Right, here we go. Dropping bombs. Good start. Lightning bolt now. Oh, God. Yeah, shove him away. Get him away from me. Right, here we go. He's got 800 health and I've got three dire fireballs. That's a good start. He's going to use his health potion now. I'm going to need some big bombs here. That is a good start. Oh, God! Hit him. Right. This needs to be 5.53. Yes! We finally got Gaiax! Great! We have won the Gaiax Eye Tournament. I'm taking that eye and I'm squashing it in my bare hands. Emperor Antares has given you 77,500 gold pieces. Thank you. Whew! Alright, that's out the way. Finally. That is finally out the way. Urgh. God, that was annoying. Alright, what can we get in the armory? What's the new thing we can get? Well, that's the Crusader stuff. 36 is the next upgrade. We are level 31. Okay. We could start getting Molten Deaths then, because that's at 33. Okay. Belgrave Barrel. Bring it. Dire Fireball time. Uh, you can just get away from me. Poison damage and Dire Fireball to finish. I'm so happy I got Gaiax out of the way. Okay. Gaiax is out of the way. He's out of my hair. He is done. What the hell? I thought I had more than that. So I can't get Molten Death yet, can I? No. Wow, I thought he gave me more money than that. What git? Right. So now it's just, once again, just beating up noobs, pretty much. I'm so happy Gaiax is out the way. So happy about that. Time for Ilium Chaucer. Oh, he also has a dire fireball. Well, mine's better. Ha <laughs> ha. Great. Okay. All right. We're finally getting somewhere now. Noble Sir. Oh, he's got a lot of damage. He's got a lot of armor and a dire. F oh god. We could actually lose this if he's got another one. He's got another dire fireball. He doesn't. Okay. He does not have another dire fireball. That's good. If we get him for 387. Nope. We got him for 381. And we're just going to finish him off here with a threading bolt. Hooray. All right. We're getting there now. How much we got in the magic shop now? We have still not enough. We're getting there, though. We are getting there. Zack the Bold is our next opponent. And we will throw fireballs at his face. All right, he's... He, oh, I thought he was going to get a charge and get one shot off on me. Nope. No thanks. 
We are slowly getting money. This is the slow climb to get Molten Death. To replace one of our fireball spells. To replace our only fireball spell, actually. Right. We're getting there slowly. Hopefully we'll have in we'll get enough to get uh, the Molten Death by the time the next tournament rolls around. That would be great. Sword guys are always good for gold, so I'm very happy I'm taking on a few sword guys. Uh, you are also a sword guide. You have not much armor, which I've taken most of it out already. Yeah, you run away from lightning bolts. Good luck with that one. More gold. How much you got now? Six... 620,000. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. And there you go. He's dead. More money. Great. Right. Next opponent is you. Frightening bolt. Ooh, armor. Yeah, let's see how much that armor vial does for you. I don't think it did much. Umber Francis has been beaten. Okay. Level up. One in attack, three in strength. We need to start focusing on strength and getting a new weapon. Better than our current one. Anyway. Fireball! Oh, he's dead. He is so screwed already. Right. But Molten Death is really the thing we should be focusing on. 70... 706,000. We are getting there slowly. Right. Bonsai is our next opponent. Armor Vial. Didn't help you one bit. That's definitely not going to help you. But please go ahead. Jump over me. Do you know what? I'm just going to hit you with my weakest attack. Weaker fireball. Yeah. Weak fireball attack. Right. More gold. Very nice. The moment we get to 100,000, I am getting that molten death. Adulation. That's going to help me with money. Thank you. Another 22,000 add to the pot. This is literally the brutal grind. So, yeah. Mateus Cervantes. He survives one burning, obviously. He jumps a lot. I'm not even seeing what my opponent does anymore. I'm just fireballing him in the face. Right. So, Molten Death does 400 to 800 damage. It's the strongest move in the game. It's very dangerous. Obviously, to take on. So, we're definitely going to be getting one. The moment we have enough money. We now have nearly 800,000. Nice. All right, this guy's got 900 armor, and he's going to run away. I still have two dire fireballs left. You know that, right? There's one. He's going to jump towards me. You might actually get a shot off. You don't get a shot off. Instead, Freddy Bolt. Yeah. All right. I want to get a Molten Death before this is over. That's the problem, though. So I'm trying to get enough, uh, enough money to do that. If I can, that'd be great. That's another 18,000. We're halfway through the level. And we need, like, another... Not much? Titan! Hello, Titan. You are tall, I admit, but... Well, you're not that tall. You're a bit small for a Titan. Yeah, you're, you're dead. You're done. You're done for. Alright, so... We are getting there slowly. Actually, I think we should probably get rid of our lightning. To be honest, our frightening bolt. We get rid of our frightening bolt, because frightening bolt does a maximum of 400 damage. So, if you look at it that way, that would probably be better. Right, Thomas. You are a Titan. See, why couldn't you have been called Titan instead of Thomas Sheffield? Sounds like a, quite a British name, actually. To be honest. Not as much as Reginald Higginbottom, who was epic in Swords and Sandals 1 for me. Right, Lewis the Hawk. It's a fireball you for quite a lot of damage, and you're dead. Nice. Okay. We are getting the gold, but the problem is obviously we're also getting the money as well, and I don't like that very much. Okay. I don't want the experience. I want the money at this point. You missed, by the way. Do you have a weapon? You do have a weapon, but it's utter crap. All right. Oh, God. It's getting, it's, it's getting close. Mighty close, but I think we've just got enough. Boundless energy. There you go. Yep, we got enough. And we leveled up. Oh, God. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it into vitality. We need the uh, we need the health, to be honest. Right, how much have we got? We have a lot. Enough for Molten Death? Oh, yes. Get rid of that. Okay. Now, let's see if 
find bed in a tavern. Let's see. Level 33. It's level 34, isn't it, for the next armor piece? Level 36 for the next armor piece. Okay, so we don't have to sort we don't have to do that for much. Right, let's have a look and see. What do we got? We could have a morning star. 35 to 105. Yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it just to get that extra stuff. Alright, so you are relaxing under a tree and you overhear a young man boasting his to his fair maiden. I'm the fast man town, he declares. No one can run like me. Quickly you size your man and see as equal build as possible. Uh, and it's possible for you to outrace him. Let's challenge him. Shall we? A race is soon organized. A course decided and several villagers gather to watch. Though you are evenly matched, eventually you pull away and declare the winner. The young man slinks away and you find yourself feeling quicker than ever. Gain two agility points. Hooray for two agility. Anyway, let's save. And I can use what's left of my money. Ah, uh, nearly had enough for that. Okay, well, let's just get this then. Get this then to boost our morning star. Right, it's time for our tournament. The Mighty Sandal. Taunt being held at the Grand Arena. Sandals, both being comfortable and practical, are much favoured by citizens of the realm. So much that the tournament of veteran gladiators has been named after the humble sandal. The realm's favourite footwear apparel. We're up against uh, Daimyo Katsumodo. But first, Ferret and the Hawk. Right. Molten Death! Nice! That's a lot of damage already. Now die a fireball! Good old Molten Death. There you go, he's dead. So Molten Death has given us quite a good start already. Well, thank you Molten Death. This guy's got a lot of armor. Okay, well let's take it out. Burning! Armor vial. Alright, that's fine. That's okay. Because you got no health, so... The moment that armor goes, boy, you're going to get beaten at the hands of Molten Death. There's your second armor vial. Okay, so maybe you're a bit more of a pain. There you go. So you are, you're screwed. You are dead. What the hell? That's a lot of burning damage. We'll meet Molten Death. Ooh, that sounds good. All right. That was a lot of burning damage. Jesus. Right, Questron Sheffield. Do you seem easy? Molten Death. Takes out most of your armor already. Command and die a fireball. We're going to do 153 damage. Well, meet fireball death. Great. Okay, so that's good. We're going good so far. Three people down. This guy's got a lot of armor. But he's got no health, pretty much. Also, he's going to run away. Need my health, fireball. 304 damage. Not bad. And one more die fireball. Right, Molten Death will kill him. Yeah, Molten Death! Ha <laughs> ha! Good old Molten Death. Right, next opponent is Pr Pyramus. He looks a bit dangerous, to be honest. He's, one, he's got a sword. Two, he's got a fair amount of armor and a fair amount of health. Let's fireball him again. He's going to hit me for damage. No, he's not. He's going to run away. Okay, that's fine by me. And he's going to jump over me. Right, can Molten Death kill him? Molten Death! Oh yes! Lots of damage there from Molten Death. Okay. We're looking good here. Fiston Van Darkmoor. Again, he's got a lot of he's got a lot of health. So we gotta be wary of his health. Right. Well that's a good start. Good amount of burning damage there. He has a He's got brat why has he got a knuckle duster? I thought this was for veterans. Veterans don't have knuckle dusters, mate. Really? Molten death. <laughs> Some of them technically hit me, but my guy is just so awesome. He doesn't care about molten death. Hellman the Protector. All right, he seems simple enough. That's a good start already. Jumps over me. Great. It's brilliant, that is. Dire Fireball. Yeah, right. Yeah, molten death is going to kill him next turn. Because it does a minimum of 400 damage. See ya. Wow, that was a lot. Take that. Alright, how many we got left? Five. Alright, next up is Caladway. Caladwich Insidious. Seems a bit dangerous. He's got a fair amount of health. Fair amount of armor. We will be taking it out though, obviously. There's an armor vial. Okay, that's what I was worried about. 
I was worried about an armor vial. All right, let's hit him. Right, this molten death won't kill him. Bloodlust. That's fine by me. Now I can hit you for armor damage. Yeah, take that. Health potion. That's not gonna save you, buddy. Molten death! Ha 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 ha. That was a close match. Well done to you. That was a good match. Jacob Kurosawa is our next opponent. He seems he seems easy enough. Seems easy enough. He's gonna run away. Molten death! Oh, nearly killed him as well. That was very close, Molten Death. You are the MVP right here. And let's just stab him with my Morning Star and kill him. Great. Okay, we have three opponents before the uh, the arena champion. This guy looks d this guy looks bad. This guy looks quite nasty. I'm gonna have to hit him. He's got lots of defense. All right, that's not good. Let's give him some uh, some dire fireballs, shall we? Ow. Missed. Okay, let's just let's just hit him. Let's just hit him. Yep, we've got this. We have got this. We have got this. Molten death! Oh yeah. And your head comes off due to all the molten death. Great. Right, so we have two opponents left. Uh, Masertes Jeeves. Seems easy enough. Molten death! Well, most of your armor's already come off. That's actually quite good. How much was that overall? Like 560 damage? I'll take that. Yeah, because all you're doing is you're jumping over me. You're dead, by the way. Fireball! We might actually level up for the boss. That'd be very good. Right. Fergus! We're up against Fergus! Fergus! Ah, you commanded me! Mon death! Yep, dead. <laughs> no, we nearly leveled up. Okay. Well, it's time for our boss battle. Daimyo Katsumudo. We've got more armor, more hit points. He's got more max damage. What has he got? He's got weakened armor, small health potion, stamina vial, armor oil. Okay. This guy doesn't seem too bad, to be honest. So let's hit him. Let's start hitting him for damage here. There's, a, there's one of his armor vials. He's going to jump away. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. All right. If this can do a fair amount of damage. Yes. Good. Right. Here we go. Th we could kill this guy very easily. Depends on how much this fireball does. Not as much as I wanted. Right, he's going to change to lose bow. That's fine. Right, Molten Death, come on! Damn it, Molten Death! Why didn't you kill him? Oh, God, 211 damage. And there's his health potion. Oh, God, no. No, this is bad. This is so bad. He's going to kill me, isn't he? Oh, for God's sake. Come over here! 30 damage. Alright, so I prefer for him to do those over those shots. Because they're doing a lot more damage, you can see. Ugh, I really needed Molten Death to come through for me there, and it didn't. Okay, well this guy could actually beat me here. Because he is... you. He's... Well, spamming these like a little bitch. Alright, that's his stamina vial gone. I believe he only has like one stamina vial left. How many have you got? A lot, apparently. Okay, there's him resting. And more of these. Ugh. How many have you got? Seriously, it... Wow. I'm going to lose this match. I'm going to lose this. How many of you got left? You still have some. Really? I'm going to need to hit him for quite a fair amount of damage now. I'm going to need to get very lucky with my Morning Star. If I even get the chance, that is. I missed. There's a weakened armor. That's not going to help you. You've already taken out my armor. And I'm dead. No rate damage. Now I'm dead. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to go for a break here, but in the next episode, I know I can beat this guy. So, it shouldn't be as bad as that last guy. Anyway, in the next episode, we beat this guy in the face. I'll see you then.